welcome back to Derby Coy. It's been an absolutely glorious day again today. Let's have a, look, a quick look at how the fish are doing. Henry's coming up again, look, straight away. First one up to try and get some of the They're all doing absolutely fantastic at the moment. So let's have a quick look into the um, filter house, the temperature, and we'll get these a little bit of food. So a quick look in here, what have we got? Oop. There you go, up to 17 at the moment, so it's uh, still quite warm in there, perfect for them to, uh, for feeding. Let me just uh, grab a bit of food. Okay, ooh. Uh, as you know, I was feeding them the high growth, um, but they're now on this Queenie Kai food. So. Yeah, look, Henry straight up. Yeah, so I'm trying them on this uh, Queenie Kai food, which was in a previous video, and uh, they absolutely love it. As you can see, Henry loves it. That's absolutely fantastic, and I think uh, Bisley's quite impressed with it as well. So yeah, um, I'm just going to quickly run through my daily maintenance, clean my filters and such, what I need cleaning, and then I'll spin you around, and uh, we'll get on with part three of this Mediclay, um, which I'm basically going to tell you what, I've found about it, what information I've, I've read about and such, and exactly what I think of it and what it does for me and my pond. So give me a second and I'll be back with you. So there are two types of clays uh, typically used in koi ponds. Uh, there's Mont Moronite and Bentonite. Uh, both of these are rich in mi nutrients and minerals, which are good for your fish, uh, your pond, your plants, and your beneficial bacteria in your filter system. Okay, so what is clay? Um, clay is a negatively charged flocculant. Yep, you're probably like me thinking, what does that mean? Because <laughs> that's exactly what I thought, and I did have to research it. But basically, is when you add clay to the pond, it acts like a magnet and attracts the positively charged toxins and impurities. It surrounds it, and because clay is heavier than water, it will sink to the bottom of, the, of your pond and it'll be removed, most of it will be removed by your filter system. How does it benefit the fish? Because the clay contains nutrients and minerals that are absorbed by the fish, it can help boost the immune system, accelerate growth, uh, enhance skin condition and colour, and help the digestive system. So all the information I've just given you, um, that I got that from various websites, manufacturers' websites, um, research, scientific research papers, koi breeders, things like that. There's a vast amount out there. You can look at it and research it yourself if you, if you need to. But how does all this information help me in the real world? How do I think it benefits me and my pond? So personally, I think one of the biggest things I've noticed with using, while using clay is the clarity of the water. I, I really do, do think that once I've put it in any, you know, a day or so later, it, the, the clarity of the water is, is so much better. It, it, it's almost like it polishes the water, puts a lovely sheen on it and it glistens. And, you know, and after I've added the clay, um, you know, a day or so afterwards or even the following day, you know, it's just, they're so much more active. Their appetite, they just constantly want to eat more. They, they, they seem more vibrant, the colours and that they just look healthier and happier in the water. It, it just really, for me, that, that's, I think, the major benefits after I put it in there, the pond, that's where I get from it. If you are gonna use clay in your pond, uh, please don't use it with, at the same time as using a treatment, if you are treating your pond or your fish. Um, the, the reason for that being is what I've read, is it acts the same way against the treatment as it does with the fines in your pond and the impurities and things like that, the toxins, it will bind to those treatments and make them heavier and it will get drawn out your pond a lot quicker. So you're basically wasting that treatment. It's not doing what it needs to do and not being in there for the amount of time it needs to be. So if you are going to treat your pond, hold off from using the clay until you're, you've done your course of treatment on your fish or your ponds. So you may have seen a, in a previous video me actually adding the clay to the pond uh, and in that video I did say I only give it a half a dose. Um, the reason for that is is that I do my add clay on a regular basis. Uh, I add it at least once a week. So I'm just topping up the nutrients and the minerals in the pond. So I don't think it needs that full dose. 
and I think that the half dose for me is more than enough to keep my clarity of the water where I, I think I need it and the benefits of the fish it just keeps it topped up keep keep the minerals topped up and uh, I just think my fish look healthier seem healthier more active as I said they're eating a lot more and doing it on a regular basis I just think it I get the benefits from it if you're just doing a one-off dose on the full dose and not adding any more yeah you may see a slight improvement to your your water and your, your pond and your fish but unless you're doing it on a regular basis I don't think in the long run you're not going to get any benefit from it and I personally think adding it on a regular basis really is the way to go one thing I will say this is not a miracle powder it's not going to clear a dirty pond up overnight what it will do is help remove the fines takes out toxins impurities things like that and it puts nutrients and minerals back in as i said earlier you really do need a, a decent quality water to start with and what this is going to do it's going to improve that quality of water and improve the 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 fish what the benefits for the fish well hopefully you got some information from that uh, and you found that interesting and uh, hopefully I answered all the questions as I said I did get a lot of questions in the, the comments on the YouTube and on my Facebook page. If I haven't put them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, I did say it was over three, uh, ep three series episodes I'll put the link somewhere down below uh, for the other two if you want to watch those. Also uh, I, whether you've seen or not I recently reached my 250 uh, subscribers. I did a 250 subscriber special again I'll put the link somewhere about uh, if you want to go back and watch that and in that uh, special I did say when I reach 500 subs I'm going to do a free giveaway so if you want to be part of that giveaway smash that subscribe button and ring that little bell for uh, notifications of all my future uploads and I just want to say again say a big thank you to all those who have subscribed and I'll see you on the next one